Hi, this is Captain Bob, here with some helpful information on how to set up your Altimeter Motives G5 instrument panel. Your Altimeter Motives G5 module will come with these parts. Start by plugging in the electronics module. This clicks into place and only goes one way. Next, plug the small end of the USB cable into the Arduino and the big end of the USB cable into the computer. You can now slide the panel over your monitor. We recommend using a 23.8 inch monitor. You can now fasten this to the panel with the included bungee cords and the protruding screws on the front. To get your instruments talking, you'll need a configuration software. We recommend Air Manager. You can go to the Siminovations wiki at siminovations.com wiki. You can press the download and install button, Air Manager for desktop, download it and install for your proper operating system, and download it as you would a normal software. Once it's done downloading, go through the installation wizard. While we're waiting for this to load, let's get our product key. You'll have to go to siminovations.com. Under software, there's Air Manager version 4 for desktop. You will need to purchase Air Manager version 4. You can click it and purchase it here. Once you're all loaded up in Air Manager, you can go to this Air Manager tab, activate Air Manager, and paste your token over here and click Activate. You'll also need Air Manager's Garmin G5. You can add this to cart and it should sync up to your Air Manager. To check that you do have the Siminovations G5, you can add a blank panel for testing purposes and just add an instrument. You can search up G5 up here and just add a G5. It won't let you if you haven't paid for it. You don't need this panel, so you can remove it. Plug in your Arduino. You should see it pop up right here. Click the link in the instruction manual to find the FlightSim G5 SIF file. You can download it directly to your computer wherever you'd like. I'll just download it to my desktop. Under the Create and Edit tab of Air Manager, you can click the Import button. Once you go to your desktop, you'll see the altimeter motives fsg5.sif, and you can open this. Your download screen should look something like this. You can then press import, and it should say it successfully imported it. You can see here that if you select panel, click the panel, and click run, you can see everything loading up as it should. But if you want to make any adjustments to that, you can go to home, panel, and search for altimeter motives panels. You can then add it and select which layout you want to use. You can select the altimeter motives G5 layout, click add, and all of the instruments should populate with their correct positions. You can even click show to see it working over here. We calibrated our instruments for this overlay, but if you need to make adjustments, there's definitely room to do that. If you want to make a copy, you can clone it and move things however you want, change out instruments, and really just make it your own panel. Do note, some of the instruments won't be directly compatible. For example, this airspeed indicator doesn't have a true airspeed ring. Currently, none of the knobs are operational. We have to configure these. To configure your Arduino to Air Manager, you'll need to follow these instructions here. You'll basically find this identifier under your instruments. So this is the second G5. You'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and find the hardware section. You'll basically match this picture over to the settings to fill it all in. So this will be channel B, pin 31. Everything is an Arduino Mega 2560 under channel B because that is what the device is flashed to. You can pause the video now to match your settings to these screenshots. If your Arduino isn't working properly, it's possible you're missing a CH340 driver. This is linked in the description below. You'll need to click this link here to download the Windows CH340 driver or go to the Max GitHub. Click the driver. 
it'll download as a zipped file, extract all, and run the .exe folder inside. It'll ask you if the software wants to make changes to your device because it's a driver. Click yes. Click the install button. Your success message should look something like this. Load up your flight simulator and click show. Now, if you have everything configured correctly, you should see everything interacting both with the air manager panel and the simulator. Out of the gate, this knob acts as an altimeter setting. So does this one, but uh, I guess this one is more high tech. Pressing down on this selects a menu from which you can select autopilot options. You can select your heading. Say I want a heading of five zero. You can adjust it here. Click accept by clicking down. You can also adjust your altitude. Say we want 300 feet. And you can even change this into an HSI. When it's in HSI mode, the menus will look a little bit different. You can also change it back to a primary flight display. If you're in an airplane other than the Cessna 172, you might notice this kind of annoying blinking. If you want to, you can go under altimeter motives panel and drag this into somewhere it won't be seen, or just click remove. Now you can see it's not showing, and it won't distract you while flying. I haven't seen this happen when you're flying the Cessna 172, so if you stick to that, it shouldn't be an issue. If you have any technical problems, email tech support at altimetermotives.com. Happy landings, and have a fantastic week.